We now return to Let's Play Anno 2205. Looking at the logistic streams, there's some shooting going on out there. Okay, this is where we want to be. You use information effectively. I do not have That's very good. many of these things. Many We're going to do good. standard because I just want to get this over with. We're now on our way to destroying the Word of Drake, I guess. There. Drake's Fortress of Solitude. And I see it's pretty well guarded. Nothing you can't cope with, I hope. I hope so too. Get me to a server access point or something so I can hack into their database. Could be we'll have to find more than one though. Oh, we have a visitor. All ships, battle stations. Show them what good hosts we are. Yeah, we're just going to go straight for the kill on this one. I'm not going to worry about uh, fulfilling my whole uh, everything else. Seize one strategic target. What does that even mean? I don't know. What I do know is that it means we're going to just destroy the shit out of everything in here. Enemy detected. All hands engage. Roger. Strategic target. Is that? Must be that. Okay. Roger. I do want to pick up all the little specials, though. On our way. Well, first of all, let's destroy this. And a shield. Energy shields. Active. Open fire. Okay, we don't need to worry about that. Clear for action. Okay, take that out. We're under fire. Keep it coming. Battle stations. Um, you guys want to fucking destroy something? About to hurt here in a really big way. Just lost a goddamn ship because these things don't auto attack. It was indeed my own fault, but whatever. Stations. Self-repair. Running. All hands engage. Nuclear missile. Fire. All fortified. Coordinates confirmed. Um. Let's see if you have what it takes to kill. Uh, seize one strategic target. Yeah? Is that not... Acknowledging enemy defeat. Well done. You see what a difference good intel can That was literally it. <laughs> well... I can see why I'm not getting very far with the the you took the, logical the rank ups. Nice. That was literally it, the entire That's map, and that. Job. Okay, fine. Got the awesome. data you wanted, plus a few files for me, just out of private interest. She will call in a return for her services one day, but what matters is you dealt Drake a heavy blow. He will recover from it, no doubt, but for now. We have the advantage, and we should use it. The lack of reliable energy sources is Earth's greatest weakness, especially in conflicted times like ours. But you hold the key for a peaceful future. The Lunar Licensing Program is about to be completed. Create a transfer route. We can let him have some energy still. I don't want to completely do this all the way. Energy transmitter online. Starting test protocol for energy transfer. All parameters in the green. Energy transfer successful. Congratulations. 
You have completed all lunar licensing program objectives. Fusion energy transmission will now meet the world's energy demand and enable mankind to implement new means of galactic travel. Global Union is grateful for your cooperation. Okay. One last point remains on my project plan, and that is to thank you for all you've done for humanity. You're the forerunner of a new era of prosperity. The Union has great plans. Your corporation will become the government accredited provider of lunar resources. And as a sign of gratitude, you're given building permits for a corporate headquarters of your choice. Transfer route beginning operation. Okay, well. So I wonder if that means I can now transmit energy up to the fusion reactor and then back down from the moon to other places if it would go either way. Because obviously once I do this this mine thing, or the mine, the dam thing, um, we're going to we're going to be in a bit of a, a thing there. Okay, I'm trying to find where my new corporate headquarters is because I want to try and build it. Consumer Apparently I cannot. Show unfulfilled demand for specific commodities. Build and connect. So I won't unlock it then, probably, until we've reached that point. Oh, wait, there it is. I need 150,000 investors. According to we just barely cleared all this. Um, no. <laughs> no, thank you. We're done. Um, okay. Good grief. Uh, this game is a mess. Um, I mean, not just because I, I slapdashed it everywhere, but just because it, it feels like those browser strategy games, you know, like the, the city builder in quotation marks strategy games where it's online um, and you basically, it takes away all of the creative city building aspects of it because you are basically building like this, where you're just cramming in to try and maximize building space in this boring square whatever, uh, so that you can get whatever you need so you can attack opponents. I mean, if you've played those games, you know what I'm talking about. That's exactly what this is. Uh, we're basically concerned more with making these balance than caring about what any of this shit looks like, and it's not so great. Um, you know, compared to the other Anno games, obviously this is massively different, but when my complaint about going back and forth and back and forth... Take 2070, for example, this, uh, this previous game to this. Um, there are three factions in the game, and there are islands that you have to bring things back and forth. Fine. Um, essentially, in my playthrough of it, I was able to more or less get one faction down before I needed to even build a second faction or a third faction. And the things that each faction provided did not necessarily... And they might have been a little bit required. There might have been a few things that were required to, to upgrade, but they weren't in such a way that I had had to back out go somewhere else, build up a whole new colony, then go down, then back, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, it was not as intensely back and forth building up your little pile here, your little pile there. Especially because it did not require the population base to do that. You could go to another island, set up an industry, and that industry would provide for your main island. It was all on one map, and you can say, well, this is essentially same thing. I mean, yes, it looks different, but in an abstract way, it's just the same concept. But again, having to go and set up just the basic infrastructure to keep your people on these other islands, these other uh, maps producing, essentially uh, means that I'm providing more resources just to, to deal with that. Um, and it's a very unnecessary thing to do, I feel. I mean, and now, now what? Now I guess yes. I can go into these? Is this is what I'm required to, to do, but 
I mean, I don't know. Let's go into this. What's it going to take? We took this over from Lei Sheng. Okay, what are we doing with it? I mean, these extra little bits now are, I suppose, the continuous play. But what do I want to do with it? Big place. We'll see if it's big enough for ambitions like yours. One of my colleagues already has high hopes for the area. I'm sure he will ask you to join in his latest prestige project. Maybe, but, but Between now us, what? The Union is impressed with how your corporation is growing. Hardly surprising you've settled for such a vast sector. It is rather massive. So what would I do here? I guess this is it. Like this one in particular, at this point, is where I would slam down just a massive, massive population center for the pure purpose of getting my monies up. Now, clearly this is not necessary for me to be doing that, but, I mean, why would I... What, what's the point of being in here now? I mean, and it actually did I take my money. It wasn't just that it was a required rest. level, it actually consumed a million credits to get that unlocked. I mean, again, why would I do that at this point? I, I don't know. I, I, I... Unless there's another Tundra, or not Tundra, um, what the hell is this? Temperate? And I suppose those are the other two islands. That's the only way I can see myself getting 150,000 of these bastards. Because that ain't gonna happen on this island, that's for damn sure. I would have to unlock all this stuff to move all my industry out here so that I could then just populate this and build it up in here. I don't know, I... There's just... There's just too much. Too much of the little stuff. At this point in in the other Anno series, um, I quit because I didn't feel like doing any of the monument stuff. I imagine they also took a fair amount more than I ever built. That's fine. So this requirement is a little bit out there, but it's whatever. I don't need to be doing it. So that's not the problem. The problem is just, as we saw here, it, this game has taken any of the strategy that Anno was known for and just thrown it out the window. I mean, with the, the circular build radius, coming up with an optimal uh, building plan was kind of necessary. So you had to strategically make your cities based on the available island space, and you had to kind of plan it out, and there was actual city building involved. This, I just went, broop, and, I, you know, move, if I don't like this, I can move it somewhere where there's more space, and I just slam, 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 expansions and whatever, and it's it's a mess. It's terrible. Um, all I was doing it for was to balance this so that I could meet mission requirements. Again, it's, it's a very mobile game design mentality as opposed to an actual strategy, build, city building strategy. And, um, like I said at the very, very beginning, it feels like an indie game that took a lot of inspiration from Anno and uh, again, the, the modular thing from SimCity, and just, it's its not an Anno game. It's very out of place in the series. Um, I mean, if this game provided a continuous missionless uh, mode like other Anno series, I'd say it would be okay. Um, as far as basically the the city building aspect of it it's okay I could I could be fine to build a city um, just with what is there but the fact that there's really nothing except riding on rails to get this done I mean to meet the ridiculous requirements I am just putting out way too much I mean why would I go back now to the moon I mean now that I've actually built this I've got enough money to, to do this but eventually I think it would wear me down to the point where now I gotta go back now I gotta open up another one uh, temperate zone to build another population center and start all over just so I could complete whatever the hell I'm trying to do in here I mean let's go back into this and look at so now I gotta transfer diamonds I gotta transfer diamonds from the earth up to here so that I can use them just to go through phase one of this hotel thing 
yes. I, I, I don't know. I mean, again, I understand the whole concept of being realistic, that getting things to and from the moon would be expensive, but it's, as far as gameplay con is concerned, this is too expensive for me to even want to touch. Because things are good now, things are balanced now, why would I want to mess with that? And then there's this, I don't even know what this has been for. I mean, yeah, there's a whole aspect of the technologies that probably at some point would have helped me. I mean, 50% increased rewards for a sign... Okay, that's rewards. Increased resource salvage in crisis sectors. Desalinization also produces algae. Okay, so there are things in here that would have definitely helped. Um, the fact that I could accomplish this albeit with great struggle, without this stuff, I don't feel like this was integrated as well. Certainly wasn't as explained as well as how you make all this work. Kind of figured it out, I guess. I don't know, there's just so much to this game that kind of like 2070, where I didn't even get into the, the science aspect, um, it's superfluous. I guess it's not so bad that, yeah, you can, if you really want to, keep going, but... I don't know, like, it's just so convoluted and difficult to to keep things balanced that I'm not sure that I want to. Well, I mean, I'm sure I don't want to, but I'm not sure that most people would want to. You know? I mean, I, mean, I guess... If you've ever watched my Next, other city-building series, um, all the way from Zeus to SimCity to whatever, uh, I tend to be very minimalist when I'm building things. Attention. I don't tend to put down five of an industry unless we really need five of an industry. At this point, looking at these numbers, you know, the game tells you that ideally you want to keep this around two or three because otherwise you're way overproducing, right? But in a situation where you, would you all shut up when you're, you're rushing, when the best strategy in the game is just rushing and putting down a ton of stuff, because otherwise it's going to take forever, then yeah, you need a massive surplus of this. You're going to have to have six different water things. You're going to have to have... I mean, it's just... I, I don't know. I was never comfortable, I guess, playing the game. You know, there was never a point in, in, in the series when I felt like, okay, you know, we've, we've got this now, I can ignore this and go over to here. Um... Maybe at the very beginning when we had to jump to the next little islands, but now I don't even want to go back to these. I got what I needed for my main one. Why am I even in here? Um, and except for right now, like I said, I don't feel I'm at a comfortable stopping point. Or was at a stop stopping point? Because as we saw the last couple episodes, I was essentially just putting all this, rearranging it, whatever, so that I'm level again here so that I can go through the next upgrade cycle of all this stuff. It just... It was too hectic. It was too too much uh, putting things down and, and, like I said, less strategic city building. There was less planning rather than just fill up every available space with a square object and balance my numbers. I don't know. I just don't feel that it was as compelling as it could have been. Again, just playing with this, the the city building aspect of it was fine in itself. I, you know, I actually kind of prefer this <laughs> this view of my islands. But it's just, it would have been better with a continuous play sandbox mode, where I could avo avoid just the build X to get Y, and now you got to build Z. And then you got to go back now that you've built Z and build more X's. Because now you're going to need to build more... You know what I mean? It's just, oh my god. Over and over and over again. Just trying to level myself out so I could go up one step. And then you got to... I mean, it... It it, it was just too, too overwhelming. Too much going back to go forward. And I, I did not care for that. But... Uh, Anyway, we're done now. There's no way in hell I'm going to spend the time trying to get this ridiculous requirement. 
as that is six times what I currently have. Again, the only way I can think that that's going to happen is if we go into into these other islands to build this up, which uh, I'm not going to do. And now we got to build up my levels as well. Got to keep going with that. Ah, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know how to... F I don't want to say that this was a bad city building game, because it wasn't. It was just not an Anno game. It was an Anno-like game, for sure. But what I enjoyed about the Anno series was not in here. And it was replaced, I feel, by unnecessary clicky-clicky mechanics that just were not compelling. It, it just wasn't compelling that I had to just keep building a stockpile to level it out, to build up a stockpile so I could go back and level it out. I mean, I hated the back and forth part. I hated that with a passion. So that's the thumb, th thumbs down on this. Um, the thumbs up, I guess, is just that... I, I don't know. That it was a city building game? Um, I don't know. I'm neutral on, on this game. I know I, I've badmouthed it so it doesn't seem like it, but... I don't know. I, I would say that I'm not going to play it again anytime soon. I would rather go back and play 2070 before I ever play this game again. So maybe maybe it is a negative thing. I don't know. All I do know is that I'm done. And that's the end of the series. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope you got something out of it. Wasted some time together, right? Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next Let's Play.